Doobity doop dooba. Oh man. So, uh just uh it's west side. I also need to sort out some work at uh the thorn, I believe. Uh yeah, I think the last thing that I collected were rad scorpion eggs uh for Red Lucy. Man. Would that be the back side of the tops or yeah, I think it's the back side of the tops. I can't you know, uh don't really look at the uh the strip from outside the strip that often. And you know, originally I thought that uh, the entry was on the south side and then the um you know, like the uh, the back end of the strip where the uh, like the vault hotel is is on the north side, and I was really like, I don't know why I thought that because it you know it's named the south side of the strip, the north side of the strip. It really threw me for a loop whenever I f suddenly realized, oh, I've imagined the strip to be backwards. Anyway, no, I'm not making a lot of sense. Um, can I harvest any of these? I guess. I guess you can, but I already did that. The, oh, okay. Well, anyway, um, let's head down into the thorn here and uh, talk to Red Lucy. Oh, I didn't know it could be closed. All right, then let's uh, let's just head into West Side. In that case. All right. So um, I need to go to the pawn shop. I don't remember where exactly that is. Maybe it's over here. Ah, west side's not that big. I'll find it fairly quickly. Don't think it's over there. These guys got anything inside of their, uh... Oh, I can't even sleep in their beds. Which, I'll be honest, the, the little bedrolls that they have in there look a whole lot more inviting than, like, the sheets of cardboard that they have splayed out on the uh, pavement around here. Which, anything I'm, happening? I might end up using one of those, um... <laughs> Cardboard sheets to sleep on uh, to pass the night. Here we go. Miguel's pawn shop uh, This must be Miguel if you're down on your luck and need some caps I buy just about anything of course. I've also got plenty of things for sale, too Well, that's good to know have you uh, been in West Side long my grandfather opened up this shop Took over from him when the fiends killed him. Ooh Well, anyway, show me what you got of course Do another satisfied customer. Thanks. Until next time. All right. Um. This is the man I want to talk to, Keller. Hello. What do you want? Um. Have you seen a guy named Price around? We work together. I'm handling his deliveries for the moment while he handles a business opportunity that came up. Oh. Well, maybe you can help me then. I'm looking for some betting advice. What? Look, do you have something to drop off or not? Hold on, that's not the right response to the passphrase. Password? That little bastard said nothing about a password. Price is in NCR custody and you're going to join him. Unless you've got a damn good explanation for why you're looking for him. Hand over your weapons, you're under arrest. Just try. You'll never take me alive. Good. Saves me paperwork. Uh -oh. Just back up here, I'm gonna bother. There we go. Veronica sorted it out right and quick. Just, um, yeah, not some bad equipment. Just take this. Uh, well, actually, let's take all of it. That, uh, <laughs> well, that didn't work out the way that I uh, it was supposed to. Uh, Miguel, uh, what are you? Oh my god, stop. Okay, listen, we need to. No, stop. 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 Here to do business? That's exactly why I'm here. Show me what you got. Of course. Right, there we go. Another satisfied customer. Thanks. Until next time. Okay, uh, Veronica, let's get out of here. We just killed some sort of an NCR ranger, I think. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go around the corner here and use one of these, uh, cardboard mats to, uh, get a bit of a uh, shut-eye, and also uh, visit the Thorn at an appropriate hour, so I think it'll probably open at about 8 a.m. or so. Here we go. Nice, bright, and sunny out. Um, 
Ooh! Honey mesquite, I can actually take these. That's a surprise. I expected uh Have you that seen to that tower in the crime. all lit up? You can see it for miles. So I can take the I can take the tobacco, but for some reason, taking the banana yucca fruit is um elite. Like how are they I can't see nothing. Okay. How exactly do they split that up, deciding that the tobacco isn't stealing, but the yucca fruit is? Side militia. Um, tower on the strip, the one you can see for miles. I hear it ain't sealed up no more. Nope. Kind of looking for a water source. Don't want to have to use the stuff, uh, the portable stuff I have on me. Um, that's the Casa Madrid over there. I've already been inside that house. It's a uh, super mutant. Well, I guess it's time that we um, leave the uh, west side, or actually, you know what? This liquor store over here. I think I'm gonna pop inside. They might sell something like Nuka Cola, which um, I'm all, I'm always in need of. Hey, there's a victory on the ground over here. Any luck, he'll have those in his inventory. Hello? Howdy. Name's Bob, but folks around here call me Klamath Bob. What can I do you for? They wouldn't by any chance call you that because you're from Klamath, do they? <laughs> yeah, good old Klamath. Not a bad place if you like hunting, eating, and skinning geckos all day. <laughs> It's a pretty dull place, but I hear there was a bit of excitement when this tribal from Arroyo came to town years back. All before my time, though. Well, uh, uh, you wouldn't by any chance be able to tell me about the uh, general area, would you? I might have some answers for you. What did you want to know? Well, start off with, how about you? What do you do around here? I run the liquor store on West Side. With things this rough, some folks need a lot of booze just to step out of the door in the morning. After I close up shop, I walk around and help keep the peace. Not that I'm good with a gun, mind you, but someone's got to do it, you know? Well, what can you tell me about Westside? Well, things aren't great here, but I've seen a lot worse. We've got the fiends to the south of us, and that ain't good. The scorpions hang out at the Monte Carlo when they aren't slinging chems or getting their heads blown off by the fiends. Probably the best thing we've got going on is the co-op, run by Mr. Etienne. Get some help from the followers of the apocalypse, I think. Co-op? Well, what's so great about the co-op? Food from the people and for the people. Anyone can buy, but the profits are shared by the folks who make the produce. Locals got these little gardens that do real well. Gosh darn well, truth be told. Etienne got some help from that Anderson kid, I think. Anyway, we don't gotta rely on merchants so much. And it means the troopers can use all the food they make over on the east side. Works out nice. Huh. You also said something about the fiends. You have a lot of run-ins with them? Not so much lately. The NCR is giving them hell any time they poke their damn heads out. Bless those boys and gals for getting rid of that vermin. I feel pity for any man or woman that gets addicted to chems, but when they prey on decent folk, well, then it's time to put them down. Oof. And, uh, what about the scorpions? Not much to tell. Typical gang of dumb bullies and angry nobodies. They're holed up a bit south of here, in the Monte Carlo Suites. They think they're tough, but any time they tangle with the fiends, they get torn right up. Oh. Oh, hey. Do you know anything about that super mutant walking around outside? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's mean son of a bitch. I know the name sounds bad, but he likes it. He's one nasty old coot. Far as I can tell, he's one of them original super mutants. What came from the boneyard. Wandered about after that master fellow died. Eventually got caught somewhere around the hub back in NCR. Boy, they sure treated him mean down there. Cut him up so bad he can't talk no more. I tried to buy him just so they'd stop hurting him. But they didn't want any of it. Well, how the hell did he end up in Westside if he couldn't buy him? He just showed up here one day. Couldn't really talk, but he remembered me all right. Ever since then, he's just been, well, hanging around, I guess. Does odd jobs for folks and smashes the bad guys when they come poking around. And the people aren't afraid of him? Some folks steer clear of him, for sure, but you don't seem to mind. Well, do you know how he got away from the NCR? Turns out some of them night kids, whatever you call those sneaky super mutant types, got in and busted them out. I guess somebody named Tabitha led the bunch that freed him. Don't know much more than that. Well, thanks for all the info. Um, but anyways, let me uh, check what you got for sale. Alright then. Hopefully I've got something to wet your whistle. <gasps> okay, Lucy. Welcome back, stranger. Lucy. Before we get to business, I want to ask you a couple of questions about Westside. Ask, and you might get an answer. Well, how do so many people here manage to survive? 
West Side attracts all sorts of travelers, including merchants and farmers. They come here to exchange their goods or to seek protection. Our community provides enough food, clothes, weapons, and medicine to encourage trade and to arm our defenses. The Thorn demonstrates, beyond anything else, that we're self-sufficient. Our desert blood has overcome even the strongest beasts of the wasteland. Well, in that case, is Westside part of New Vegas? New Vegas has many faces, stranger. Despite everything, it shall never be whole. When the land hunts you, when fighting for survival is the norm, your neighbors become either saviors or enemies. Westside is a part of New Vegas, just as much as it's a part of the wasteland. In the end, stranger, we need them both to continue making our fate. That's one way to put it. Anyhow, Lucy, let's talk about those creature eggs you sent me out to get. Do you have good news for the thorn? I do. I've brought the rad scorpion eggs you asked for. Good work, stranger. The thorn will nurture these eggs until their hatchlings are ready to bleed for us. Here's a compensation for your service. I trust that we're in agreement over it. I was planning on helping you get even deadlier creatures, but not without a raise. You are proving your worth to the thorn. I hope these extra caps are sufficient to demonstrate my fairness. All right then. Is there anything else I can do to help the thorn? Bring me a dozen fire gecko eggs. This great challenge will earn you a matching reward. All right. Where do you suggest I look? Fire geckos are among the wasteland's most dangerous creatures. Near the Iritiba Peaks lies a nest where you may find their eggs. All right, then. I'll go get them for you. Confident. I like that. So long, stranger. All right. Uh, what's in here? Oh, so it's Okay. Okay. Um, so this is the wind's hideout. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. What are you doing here, stranger? You looking to start some trouble? Uh, no. Who are you? Me? I'm Sammy of Sammy and Pauline, the Wasteland's most dangerous and notorious criminal duo. You better not mess with us or you'll end up face down in a shallow grave. You sound pretty tough. Wonder why I've never heard of you. Simple. Up until now, we committed our crimes stealthily, leaving no evidence behind, so we never built a rep. But that's gonna change with our next score. You just wait and see. Really? What's your plan? You'll have to ask Pauline about that. She's the brains of our operation. I'm the muscle. All right then, I'll ask her. You best not try any funny business, stranger. One word from me, and Vance will plant you in the ground. Well, who are you? I'm Pauline of Sammy and Pauline, the Wasteland's most dangerous and notorious criminal couple. You'd best not mess with us, or you'll have a bullet hole where your eye used to be. Well, if the two of you are so well known, how come I haven't heard of you? We ain't never heard of you either, so the not being impressed is mutual. Come a week or so, though, and everyone will have heard of Sammy and Pauline. Just you wait. Really? How's that gonna happen? Sammy and me got our hands on a powerful weapon not too long ago. Vance's gun. You know Vance, of Vance and Vicky? That gun's our shot at the big time. We're gonna sneak it in on the strip and rob one of the casinos. Maybe all of them. We'll be known as the greatest gunslingers to ever terrorize the wastelands. Ooh, got something That's Is it a the dress? greatest plan I have heard in my entire life. Really? You think so? We've only got the one gun and there's two of us. And we've never done anything like this before. We've never been on the strip either. So we don't know how many guards the casinos have. And I kept having these nightmares. What are we thinking? We're gonna get ourselves killed. Look, tell Sammy to give you the gun, all right? Just take it. I don't want it around tempting us to do something stupid. Oh. Oh, okay. I'll do that. This better be good, stranger. Sammy? Um, Pauline says you should give me the gun. Really? Oh, thank God. I love that woman, but I swear this time she was going to get us killed. The gun's in the safe. The combination's 5, 23, 34. Take it far away from here before she changes her mind. Uh, okay. 
water, some healing powder. Ah, oh, my low lockpick skill comes to bite me in the ass again. All right, uh, just some re. I'm, I'm actually very surprised. Uh, this is a location that I used um, habitually to capture uh, vat shots whenever I composed some of the uh, gun guides that I made for this game. And uh, there was all there were always people here trying to kill me, so I'm surprised that. What was that? What on earth? I'm surprised that there's nobody here trying to kill me. Just like a group of uh, mercenaries or raiders or something like that. I think they were mercenaries because I or well gang members of some type, I believe. Anyways, um, we've got uh, Cazadors back here. Well, they're hard to hit. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Alright, here we go. Almost counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. We'll see how vulnerable they are to fire. Oh my god, I've been poisoned. Okay, that probably isn't gonna work all that well. Oh god, they're so erratic! Oh my god. Okay, so we got Cazador poison glands. Both on that one. Oh. Oh, God, I am poisoned. I hate that sound. Okay. Anti-venom. I need it. Just, um... Oh, thank God. That's much better. Okay. Um, so, I'm, like, really low on health, but because I don't think anything else is gonna come out of the woodwork and try to kill me, I'm just gonna pop, um, Sunset Sarsaparillas, which I have a ton of at this moment. Uh... Looks like there's nothing else, uh, around here either, so... Unless I can get into one of these shacks. Nope, I'll board it up. Alright, there's, uh, there's something else that I want to get my hands on. While I'm here. Just take another look inside of this place. Ooh, V? What's wrong with you? Oh, gee, she's got low health. She must have been poisoned. Doing any better? Let's check it. Just give her another one. I mean, I know that this is a little bit wasteful on stim packs to give her two so shortly between each other, and now a third, because I'm just gonna be really, really cautious. I know stim packs work over a period of time because this is hardcore mode, but I'm I'm flat out not using stim packs on myself really. Uh, I I'm, I'm buying them, I'm keeping them, so I mean I. I Better to use them in some way than to uh, not use them at all, especially when I have, like, I think more than a hundred of them at this point. Uh, however many I have, it doesn't matter. They're, they're, it's more than I can use in a single battle, so... Now, uh, let's... I'm, I'm heading north now for a particular wonderfully fun device uh, that you get from a couple... from a group of mercenaries uh, at an unmarked location right up here. Um... Veronica? I'm doing alright? She's all fine. Did not mean to do that. <clears throat> okay, so it should be just right up over this ledge here. My word. And that's not what I want. Here we go, plasma grenade. This will do more than enough damage for me to sort out... Well, given the uh, the perks that I've taken and my explosive skill, um, hopefully enough. Uh, it'll be a large enough blast radius. Veronica, you need to uh, Does use jumping ranged. at them with my fists count as ranged? No. Okay. Right over the hill here, and as you can see, they're right up there. It's a big group of mercenaries. I'm gonna get some real nice loot from these guys. Nope, too far away. Um, kind of. Oh my god. Okay, let's do it again. Would have been able to hit them the first time if I had my uh, grenade rifle. But, you know, live and learn. Why I can't hit those three on the left. Um, yeah, let's just do one shot at this guy. Hope that it works. Bingo! All of them dead. That worked out really, really well. I was um, a little bit worried that I wouldn't get them all in a single blast. Alright, well, uh, there were five of them. I see five of them here, so this is good. So, let's start with this body here. I mean, just look at everything that's on these guys. Just take everything. Whiskey, machete, wine, wonderful stuff. 
Yep, it was a big group of mercenaries. Take it all again. I'm over encumbered. Take all of this one more time. And we'll come back here, and this guy, this guy right here, don't worry, I'll sort up my inventory in a moment. This guy is the reason why I came here at all. So first of all, he's got reinforced combat armor, but most importantly, the YCS-186, the modified version of the Gauss rifle. Okay. Veronica, I need you to hold some stuff. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Yes, I am, Veronica. Okay, so uh, Veronica should use that YCS because it's a one, uh, because it is a uh, energy weapon, which uh, you know is her speciality. The problem with the YCS is that um, it's one shot, one re uh, one shot per reload, um, which isn't the best. So uh, there's one other thing that I want to do on the north side of Vegas here before I uh, start heading south because uh, there's a lot of things that I need to uh, get done along. Well, I, I don't actually know the name of the highway, uh, but there's a whole lot to be done along the uh, highway that stretches north and south on the east, or the west side of the map, so. But this over here is something that I saw as I was um, heading over to that camp of mercenaries, and I don't quite remember what this is, but I want to check it out anyway. Is this the... I think this is the Tumbleweed Ranch. Yep, sure enough, it's the Tumbleweed Ranch. Okay. I don't remember at all if this place has anything good at it. I don't recall it being particularly important. I remember referencing it for a location. Oh, he's freshly dead. What on earth? Doesn't look like he had any... T like, nothing in the fields here, and... What the hell is that? I think that's a nightkin. Let's just equip, uh, equip the shotgun. You want to buy Winbrahmin? <laughs> um... Winbrahmin? You mean tumbleweeds? Tumble... what? Oh. You're crazy, aren't you? Crazy with low prices on Winbrahmin. You buy one. How much? All. All of my caps? They are very good, Winbrahmin. All caps. No. You not buy, then you die. Ooh, he got violent really fast. Wow. Okay, um, did you have anything good on you? A stealth point, that was pretty much it. Okay then, uh... My, oh my, uh, well. I didn't, I completely forgot that there was, um, a nightkin out here trying to sell tumbleweeds. Okay, well, um, I guess it's, uh, it's time to head back south, unless I can go in here. Oh my god, I can. Farmhouse for the Tumbleweed Ranch. There better be some good loot in here. Well, there not better be. I hope there is. What do we have? A lot of junk. Ooh, storage room. Jackpot. Empty locker, but, um, sugar bombs. Aha, another Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Cap. I am so close to uh, collecting everything that I need for uh, the Legend of the Star. Um, yeah, let's take it all. I don't know what to say. I've been having so much fun. I mean, I just, I mean, right now, what I'm doing is gotta, it, oh man, over encumbered already. Um, it's gotta be the most tedious component of the game. Jeez, everything falls as soon as I touch it. Um, it's got to be the most tedious component of the game, just walking around and taking stuff, but, um, you know, after all of the time that I spent in New Vegas just talking with people, this feels so liberating. Um, and actually, you know, that brings up something else that's uh, relatively interesting. Fallout 4, um, which uh, was announced a couple of weeks back. I'm, I'm a little bit curious how... Um, you know, the, the entire concept of no longer having a silent protagonist, or, you know, basically you play, you play from first person, you talk to people through first person, and, you know, you're given speech options, but your character doesn't talk. Uh, now that that's, you know, been tossed to the wind, and um, you play a character with a predefined voice, you know, whether you like it or not, um, I'm genuinely curious how, uh, how that's going to sit with me whenever I go out and play Fallout 4 when it comes out, because... You know, I'm, I'm a 
it, it should be fairly obvious that I'm a pretty big fan of, um, you know, the whole silent protagonist thing, because it's especially because of how it allows me to play, um, well, I mean, to do this playthrough. Not bad. Uh, the guy living in this place was clearly crazy. He's got tumbleweeds all over. On the couch, on a bed. But anyways, um, ooh, cattle prod. And a lion congressional style book. Sweet. So, I'm, uh, I'm genuinely curious how, uh, that's going to feel for me, uh, playing a Fallout game where, like, I can't really insert myself so much because the character is already defined. Um, you know, and wh whether or not you like that or not is another, s is a story unto itself. Alright, it looks like I'm totally done here at, uh, the Tumbleweed Ranch. I'm gonna go ahead and start heading south now, um, and I'm probably gonna make, uh, I'm... Yeah, I'm headed for Good Springs at this point, because um, I need to stop it. It'll be a good place to stop over, uh, sell some stuff off, and uh, get back to uh, completing Veronica's wonderful little quest. Um, well, we'll see how that concludes, but uh, I'm certain I'll get there next time. <laughs>